stupid dog! You made me look bad! I should know that I've been trying to run a check off. Alright, hey, how's it going guys? Super Duper Productions here with another fucking video. Yo, yo, yo. We're about to do the breaks on Tony's piece of, I mean, nice eclipse. I know y'all love it for some reason. Shit gay as hell, slow as fuck. But, yeah, we're just doing the install right now. We're gonna do uh, rotors and pads. We were gonna paint them, but it'll take too long, so we'll probably just do that another day. We're just painting the calipers, but we're just gonna do brakes, pads, and rotors. Uh, we got some drilled and slotted ones, we got some right here. Some eBay specials. R1, they're from R1 Concepts. I got these for like $130 on eBay. So they're pretty cheap and they're pretty good. They're unslotted. I bought eBay ones, they're not, they're not as bad as people make it seem. But, yeah, so we're just going to show you one side on each side. Because, well, one side on the front, one side on the rear, it's the same shit, so, yeah. And then we're also going to do the parking brake that's on the rear, that most people don't know about. The parking brake is like for the emergency brake. It's like the drum brakes. So we're also going to do that too, because might as well. We're going to have the, the rear uh, rotors off, which will give us access to the brake, uh, the parking brakes in the back. I don't even know how it looks. Got the parking brake. Uh, All right, we got our fucking mechanic over here. Yeah, to stop it. All right, well, step one, you already know, move these bitches, and when I snap my fingers, they're gonna be the wheel's gonna be off and gone. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Tony, we got the wheel off. Tony's gonna spray the bolts with some penetrating. WD-40, just so it's easier to take off. And, and yeah, you're gonna remove the the two bolts behind here to pull the whole caliper off, and then the rotor should just pull off. Sometimes on rotors you have to stick like a screw, and then they'll come off because they're kind of on there good. But yeah, I have a screw right here. Oh, it's all rusty. Yeah, it's all rusty. That's good. That's good. That's good. But, alright, we'll let y'all know how it is. Alright, so Tony got off the, the caliper. It's two 17s. Here's, here's a 17. Two 17s. It's for the bracket back here. Yeah. There's one right here and then one right here. And that and completely takes off the whole caliper. caliper. Which, after you have it right here, you want to have it like right here, which is like perfect. So there's no like strain. On the brake line. On the brake line. Or you're gonna have a fun time not stopping. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so right here we have the the rotor. And it should come off easily, but you know, since it's kinda like rusting in there, that's where your trusty best friend's right here. You just start beating on it. And on the old one it's you since you're taking it off you can beat it. But, yeah, just beat the shit out of it. But if you're not gonna re if you're gonna reuse it then don't beat it. Yeah, see. You're gonna have to beat the shit out of it. Oh, that's just... Yeah, that's fucking good. Alright, we'll get back to you. Alright, so... Tony got the old one off. You just gotta take off that little screw right yeah, here. Yeah, so there was actually no need to like hit it. Or there was probably a, probably did have to hit it, but the screw was like holding it in tight. This is a little screw. So now you just gotta put the new one back on. Put the new one back on. Line it up with the screw that it has. And it fits perfectly. And yeah. And it's, uh, Tony wants to put this back on, but I, I wouldn't. Put it back on. I wouldn't. I would. I never put them back on because they always get seized and like you have to. Uh, whatever. It's Tony's car though. Yeah. He can deal with it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get back to you real quick. Yo. 
All right. So Tony's hitting it with parts. Oh, parts cleaner. Parts cleaner, brake parts. And that's just like because out of the when they sell them to you, they have like some grease on them, just so so they don't corrode like while they're sitting in the factory and storage. And you let it sit for a while, and then you dry it off. Yeah, you just clean it up, and then you compress. Also, before you put your pads back on, and you tell where you can press the piston. They sell tools like these. Like this, or you can also use a C-clamp, but this is actually a lot more better. Yeah, or you can just use a screwdriver. <laughs> or you can push it with your thumbs too, but... Yeah, I don't know. Only if you're fucking like Hercules. <laughs> or fucking Isaac over here. Didn't end there. But, so now we're gonna put the caliper back on, pads, and... Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, uh, just make sure when you put these back on, sometimes they come with new ones. These are like the little retainers. Make sure you put those back on. Yeah, so I happen to get the Duralash GTs from AutoZone. They're pretty expensive, but I, li I liked it last time I bought it. Comes with carbon fiber brake pads and also with new hardware. So these ones you would have to replace, take them off. Yeah, they just snap and off. And then, yeah, they just snap off and then you just add these new ones. And yeah. Not that easy. And then you just throw everything back on and we'll show you like that. Alright, and there it is. So we just put the whole assembly back together. Um, we put the pads in. For the pads, when, when you're putting on your new pads, it's always good to remember that you want to put a uh, brake grease. You can get to that AutoZone too, brake grease. You, you might not need that much. You, if just there's like a smaller the, bottle, yeah, yeah, just like smear it just a little bit. You want to put it right here, like a light layer, yeah. and then right here at the ends, just like this. Like obviously, like you can see right here, you can see the grease right here. We barely put a little bit. Here are new pins, they're from the new hardware, and yeah, and then you you put the whole assembly back together. You tie in the 14s, the 17s, and yeah, this one's all done. Uh -oh. Just throw back the tire, and then this one's all done. That's how you do the front. Make sure you always torque to spec. <laughs> torque to spec. But that's how you do the front. And we'll show you how to do the back and that's about it. I mean, every brake job's gonna be about the same, but since this is a special car. <laughs> but she's a little dirty right now. Is that any clips dog? Alright. The 4G? Oh. We'll get back to you on the on the rear. We're just gonna show you the mainly the the, the pads, how to do the the rear. Oh shit! <laughs> We're gonna show you basically how to do like the this adjust the parking brake because the rest is the same. But oh, I have my fucking car on. Do you have jumper cables? Alright, well, we'll get back to you. Gonna show y'all real quick how they look once they're all on. They look pretty sick. Look at that. Look like we're pros. Yeah, boys, uh, Isaac, Isaac's Garage. Mobile. Get us up for your brake needs. I'll do your brakes, dig you down. <laughs> we got you right here. We got Eclipses. We got 350s. Oh, those are fucked up. I don't get those. But we got your Isaac's garage. <laughs> yeah, they look way more better than before. <laughs> way more better, nigga? <laughs> way more better. I don't know. I'm gonna start a trend. Alright, hey, we're back. Super Dorks is here with another motherfucking vlog. Just kidding. Alright, so we didn't do the rear brake pads. The rear brake parking brake parking brake shoes. pads. Brake from brake shoes, whatever. But sick as shit, sorry. Wait, I tell him why. Cause Tony's are like brand new. Cause I don't know if you know. It's automatic. They don't they don't they don't use that shit. Not automatic. Come on. Let's let's step inside here. What is that? A manual. Nigga, that's fake as fuck. They know, they know it's auto. They don't gotta know. <laughs> they don't gotta know. Over oh, Tony's over here catfishing you guys. <laughs> but yeah, basically the same thing on the back. Except the, the except the bolts on the back are both 14 millimeters. Yeah, they're both 14s, and they're pretty hard to like uh, take off. So you might want to like. Yeah, the old one you literally have to bang like 
the living hell out of it, and then it'll come off. This one doesn't have a little screw. Yours might, but this ours didn't. And what I'm doing right here is just cleaning this off with the parts cleaner. All this stuff, like you know, you don't have to do it, but it's it helps out a lot. You know, just to expand the life of your brakes. Yeah. But. Yeah. You got a big dick too. Yeah. Pito grande. Hey, cop your super duper stickers. Like selling out fast. But. Limited edition. Yeah, they're limited edition. Uh, Let's One. One. <laughs> <laughs> Every sticker comes signed. One out of fifty were only made. <laughs> one out of fifty? Yeah, there's only there's only fifty were made. This is number three. Yeah, the serial number is on the back. I can't show you. <laughs> but hey, go fucking go share this video. That's what you guys should be doing right now. Go share it to everybody, even if you don't fucking like us. But all right. I don't know, that's pretty much it with all we can show you. Tony's putting the pads on. I forgot to put the grease on the back. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put the caliber back on. But it's pretty self explanatory. We showed you the front, the back's the same. Just two 14s in the back. And whenever I go like this, it's gonna be done. And we're done. Yeah, your car looks clean on camera. It does, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's not, it doesn't need a wash. Yeah. Alright, that's how you do some brake jobs. Alright, Isaac's garage right here. Mobile now. Hey, yo. Uh, Mobile. <laughs> let him know. You gotta outro you it. Up, uh, it's your video. Huh? It's your video, you gotta All outro right, guys. it. Alright, uh, guys. So that's how you do it. That's how you do a brake, uh, complete brake system for our cars. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It would mean so much to us. We'll see you guys on the next one.